Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing an edit with the images from Unsplash and I'll be exploring some new things that I found in Photoshop which may not be new for someone but they were for me and it was fun to find them yesterday. And let's start from Unsplash. I was actually looking for images, uh, kind of complaining because Unsplash now has a Unsplash Plus feature, which is paid. When you're looking for images, you can like choose to see free or paid ones, but when you're on front page featured images, you cannot choose it. And whenever you're looking for images, you see regular, nothing special. This one was nice, I noticed this one. But some of them, especially with portraits, you see them, they're good, and then you see that they are marked with Unsplash logo, which means that they are paid. And I'm not really sure how it works, if someone can just decide that they want to make them paid but if that's the case and people want to get paid obviously then it means that pool for three images is smaller and what's in good quality it's gonna be paid which is sad because in splash was always about free images and good quality ones but there's still a lot of good ones and I found some today which I want to work with especially one that I really like, this one. I just really like portraits and people's faces and I like how crisp this is. I have coffee, even though it's 7 p.m. I was literally laying before on this couch. Yes, I had... The... Not that I did not have motivation. I think that's the wrong word for it. I just didn't have... Energy is also not so such a good word. But maybe energy is a good word. But th there was no, you know, thing in me to get up and do it. And uh, I was just laying and thinking, why am I this way? I don't feel in the mood for it. But I should do it anyways. Because not always I will be in the mood. You know, what if I'm not gonna do a really good job and then I'll have my time kind of wasted and I didn't want that and I was trying to figure out how find reasons why I should not do it but I didn't find any reasons so that's why I'm doing it such a pretty picture thank you that's your new housing Shervani well I will start usually with editing talking about my friend planning a photo shoot and the thing that I learned from it about my work is that I really always go for the nostalgia that's something that I experience I used to experience often not so much anymore but I like to dwell on dwell dwell well on the past and when I take my images or even when I'm editing I I want to create this feeling of nostalgia of longing and it's not just you know missing something it's not clear not really it's I want it to be weird and distorted and not just you know a memory kind of like a dream that's what I like to show express what do you think I think this is nice I don't really understand what this is the this is green you know but it does not react to green this looks like blue sometimes weird this is yellow now there is a thing I do a gradient map, not on the levels though, just a regular gradient map, like this. And then I split it into half, command J, duplicate, wait, this is not, no, 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 where is the middle? This is the middle and this is the middle, okay. And then I duplicate it, I select both of these layers that I duplicated, I now put it in half. I'm losing my patience, I need the guides. No. If those unselected, I'm gonna lock this. And now this. Okay, duplicated.
Okay, now we have this. So you basically make a gradient layer and then you squish it, duplicate it, squish it, duplicate it, squish it, duplicate it until you get the result you desire, which for me is this one. And now I'm gonna save this. Could be a good idea to... So this is a gradient displacement map. Sorry. Um, um, I'll delete that image and I'll delete this. So this is my actual working file, which I'm gonna save because otherwise I'm not safe. Now, I used to always go for a displacement map, you know, displace, which we can check how it looks just for curiosity. Okay, I can play around with it and displace in the way I want. This is only 10 on 10, so maybe 100 on 100 would be, you know, more visible. Oh, but it's not even close to what I'm gonna do, so whatever. I delete this and I go to filter gallery, which I've been always avoiding because I always thought that, you know, filter gallery is basic, it's not cool, there's boring stuff here, but it's actually pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I. I I also found this diffuse glow. And maybe I'm old to this, you know, maybe everyone has already found these things because I always underrated the filter gallery, but I found the glow. And now I want to put on glass and I can change the displacement map for the glass texture, how they call it. And I choose this. And I can play around with scaling. I don't really like the scaling. Hmm, what can I do? What if I... I'll cancel this. I like the glow though. Let's go back to the glow. Just the glow. Um, no, 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 no. No, don't want that. But I need to figure out this. I'll make this even smaller. I'll make this a smart object. And go to liquify. Very good. Let's do this again. Perfecto! I really like this. Now I'm gonna apply my favorite textures and basically the edit that I made in action so I wouldn't need to repeat the same thing over and over again. It's fun to do once in a while but when I have to edit batch of images I just have all the layers so this would be quicker and they usually work for a lot of things. It's funny how I stick to one color, like one palette at the very beginning, and then I change one color and be like, hmm, yeah, I prefer these ones better. And there is something for this green and blue that I really enjoy, and this pink. But pink gives me warmth, and I don't really want that. Hmm, <gasps> okay. I'll save this. For this I have an idea. I want to put it on Gaussian Blur. No, too much. I quite like this. Also, what I can do is remove this from here. So I'll keep this on her face, maybe? Oh, interesting. That's very fun. I like this drop. I really didn't think I could play with this like that. I really like this. It blurs out so nice. No, I, I'll leave the lips. I really enjoy the eye. I really like the colors way better than the warm colors. Have been stopped giving me suggestions based on the image? If that's the case, they are fucking idiots. They, they are not giving suggestions anymore. Oh, why? Why are you making these stupid changes? This really hurt my feelings. You don't want to be spending so much time trying to find the image. 
this. So I bought printer and I bought this mat to cut things on. Also a scalpel or a knife, whatever you want to call it. The artsy thing to cut paper. And uh, did a few collages. I feel like this could be fun to play with. This needs to be brightened. And I can keep some flowers. But this needs to be bright. How do I make this not blue? Maybe I should just make it black and white. And then it does not affect the color that much. It's not always that bad when I think it's gonna be. I always think that I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna block and nothing's gonna happen. And then it happens. And it happens almost every time. Everything is fine. Okay, I wanna try. No. Yeah. Let me, let me just see if I make this invert. No. Okay, I think I will be... I don't know, should I be done? Could this be better? Could this be better without it? No, I like this. I'll, I'll just see, I can always delete. No, no, that is it without it. It's perfect, it is perfect. Opacity? Maybe, nah, 70% was good. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done and I love it. I can love this. I love this new thing that I found out. Okay, so this is gonna be my final. However, I wanted to explore a little bit with you. Filter gallery and explore some other displacement maps. Sorry if I call them displacement maps and their textures. Yeah, it's interesting to see how things work and figure out that by playing. For example, this one is... It's this thing. You can change the scaling and stuff. You can create some freaky effects. It's up to your imagination. For example, what it would look if I take tiles. Mm, it's okay, I don't like it. There's a painting. I'm not suggesting anything. Do whatever you want. But maybe it's better to stick to something with edges. Clear edges. Because this painting, it's too watery already. Nah. But what about ripple water? Oh, ripple water it looks pretty good. This is this one. That's it. <laughs> I'll stop this now. So that's it for today. And uh, I hope you learned something new. If not, I hope you enjoyed the video for what it was. And uh, I hope to see you. No, I do not hope to see you. I do hope to see you, but I will see you. I really hope I will see you. Anyways, I love this channel and I am very sad when I don't put effort into it, which is what I'm trying to do more of it. And just sometimes it is hard and uh, I like to change that. And it still may be hard, but it is the way it is. It is what it is. And I cannot change that being hard. Anyways, too much rambling. Like, subscribe, share, uh, follow, message, uh, Instagram, YouTube, uh, everything, Garmin, watch, uh, see you in the future with some new things. Maybe cool. Okay, bye bye. Enough is enough.